Hi, we are going to have our guitar lesson number two and first of all I'm going to tell you about the difference between a note and a chord and then we're going to talk about strumming, a couple different ways to strum and then third is to practice actually playing two different chords one after the other. So first thing is the difference between a note and a chord. A note is one sound. For example, if I play the first string, third fret, that note is G. It's just one sound, one string. But if you play three or more strings together, like this, that's a chord. And we say it's a G chord, um, even though there are three actual notes in a G chord, G, B, and D. But we just name it after the main note in the chord, which is G, so it's called a G chord, having three or more sounds in it, whereas a note is just one sound. Okay. Next, strumming. When you're first learning guitar, it's useful to keep a steady strum. For example, like this. Kind of like a heartbeat. Your heart is beating in a steady way. Another way you could strum is to strum the rhythm of the melody. For example, in the song we did last time, Are You Sleeping? There's a line that goes, morning bells are ringing. The rhythm is morning bells are ringing. And if you strum that rhythm, it would be morning bells are ringing. So that's the rhythm of the melody. But actually, I'd prefer that you would learn how to strum a steady beat, more like your heartbeat is a steady rhythm when you're first learning. Okay. Then the third thing I wanted to do is actually practice two different chords, the C chord and the G chord. We've already learned the G chord on our first lesson. The C chord can be played by using your first finger, pointer finger, on the second string first fret and play three strings. It's a C chord. The C note is actually the second string first fret. That's the C note. The C chord actually has three notes in it, C, E, and G. Sounds like this. So now we are going to be playing first the G chord. That's the third finger, first string, third fret, play the four strings, first, second, third, fourth, counting from the bottom up, and we're going to strum eight times on this G chord, and then I'm going to wait and give you time to find the C chord, and then we'll do eight times on the C chord. So eight G chords, a little break to find the new chord, C, and then eight times on the C chord. Okay, here we go. One, two, ready, go. Six, seven, eight. And now, to play C, first finger, second string, first fret, we're going to strum three strings eight times. Here we go. Last thing we'll do now is see if you can begin to keep the steady beat going. Eight plus eight, eight C, eight G chords, eight C chords, but without that break in the middle. That's the challenge. Okay, so starting with the G chord. One, two, ready, and go. Two, 
So there you have it. We've done, um, we've talked about the difference between a chord and a note. We've done two different ways of strumming. I prefer a steady beat type of a strum. And then we've done two different chords, G and C. So have fun practicing. <laughs>